I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Alright, I think it is time for another Grizzly Garage update. Because I have been away. I went to the Vancouver Island Pinball Expo. We left on Thursday. And that was uh, myself, Julie, Shawnee Boy, and Shane Jackson of Maple Pinball. And then we played pinball from Friday morning till night, Saturday morning till night, and then um, some playoff action on the Sunday. And then uh, we had Monday to kill because our flight wasn't until uh, like 11 p.m. So after three days of pinball, what do you figure we did? We went to uh, Neon Ranch Pinball on Vancouver Island in Victoria and played another tournament. And then got back, woke up like at three o'clock in the afternoon because it was a red-eye flight. And uh, what did I do? I went to Forked River and played our local pinball tournament, which was last night. So in the interim, Kevin, as usual, has been uh, doing stuffs. So we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna see uh, progress on hard body, on, um, his creature from the Black Lagoon, that's exciting because he sent out like 60 pieces of metal to get powder coated. He is going all out. Like he always goes all out, but this is even more all out. And then uh, we'll check in on Jurassic Park, Daryl Pilon's Jurassic Park that is. I guess there's still um, a couple of issues with it. I was trying to fix uh, the display last time I was there, but had no luck. I'm pretty sure it's the display driver board, so we need to try a new display driver board to rule that out. And the T-Rex is being a pain in the butt, which is not uncommon. Kevin even replaced a couple of the T-Rex motors that Daryl provided, brand new from Marco Pinball, and uh, it's still, it, it may have made it worse actually, so uh, T-Rex is a, a bit of a disaster right now. And uh, we'll check in on Dutch's Flintstones, see what's going on there. I saw Dutch last night at Forked River uh, Tournament, and uh, he said he was plucking away at it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what state it is in right now, but we'll check that out. And what other, other, whatever other miscellaneous shenanigans are happening over at the Grazley Garage. So let's go check that out. This guy is doing a U-turn in the middle of the intersection on a red light, so. That's always fun. Oh, a couple more things on a side note. I did do a video tour of Vancouver Island Pinball Expo, so stay tuned for that. I did another video tour of Neon Ranch Pinball, so stay tuned for that. And also, while I was away, fellow shenanigander Greg Martin sent me some links to some tunes that he made. Pinball Shenanigans now has a theme song. It is lyrics that he created using AI generated music. He did a few versions and the one that's kind of like heavy metal Metallica sounding is my favorite. Um, so it's got some really cool lyrics, really cool sounds. It's pretty freaking epic and uh, I will play that for you at the end of the video. So definitely you will have to check that out. It is pretty epic. All right, back at the ranch. Um. Hi Maynard, hi Mabel, come say hi. Hi doggies, hello. Where's your daddy? Ooh, look at this, are you in here? Yeah, he is, what's up? Much. You been busy as usual? Right. Yeah, I'll say. Holy crap. You got stuff going on everywhere. Let's take a look. Oh my god. Look at this. That looks amazing. This is the same powder coating um, on Daryl's Tales from the Crypt. Uh, yeah, on the ramps and my Dr. Mars. Right, okay. 
Yeah, you said uh, yesterday you're going to pick up some powder coating. And uh, it is in the house. I think we nailed the color. The color looks fucking awesome. That is perfect. It looks amazing. So, and a lot of uh, clay fields. Oh, yeah? Is it all in as well? Uh, you got a pile of it somewhere? Uh, it's here. It's... <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, okay. I gotta check that out. This just is just so stunning. Look at these hinges, side rails, legs, the usual. Yeah. So nice to see uh, a creature cabinet that's like perfect. And then uh, here's the hard body. It's looking equally amazing. Did you have your coin door pink? No, mine was black. Yeah, I thought so. This is an extra level of pink. Yeah. Actually looks pretty damn good. I know. Actually, and with this too, it's hard to tell, but we did uh, pearl and clear coat, so it sparkles. Oh, crazy. yeah. Hard to tell this, but... Actually, it does. You can see the sparkle in there. So, this come from Europe at some point. Yeah, we got like the two pence. We got two, two for two games for ten pence. That's kind of cute, and they're in actually really good shape. Those coin inserts. Yeah, they're kind of gross, but I cleaned them up really well. So, did you do these coin plates? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that's a fair amount of work just to do that alone, right? Oh, and you did the inside guts too. Yeah. And these guys. Sand is it sandblasted and spray painted? Yeah. Very cool. Oh, just so that you want something brand new and then have something shitty sticking out. So. Yeah, looks awesome. Yeah, like to polish these little bolts <laughs> <laughs> right down to the little bolts. But yeah, so this uh, had a new back on it. New right. Of the head. Uh, is this the, neck, the new piece here? These these are new. Oh yeah. This is new. This is new. Uh, the whole thing was apart. And, and then re-glued the whole cabinet. Oh, really? You went to that extreme, eh? I mean, you kind of got to, if you're replacing a few miscellaneous pieces. Oh, shit. God damn it. That would, every Eric, time. If it's all messed up, that's my <laughs> Yeah, Eric, I apologize. Put it out of the freaking way. Uh, out yeah, the door. I, I had a feeling this is kind of away from everything, just for me. But I managed to uh, find a way. But yeah, this looks... So good. And the uh, little speaker grill there too? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I did mine black and hinged. Oh, uh, okay. But since we're doing the coin door pink, I figured my blue or anything. pink. It looks good. It looks great. Yeah, so this is the whole new piece here. Yeah, I remember it was all like caves. Yep. In. Yeah. So. It cut in a groove. And this piece too is new? Yeah, that's because it's a big chunk. So this whole right. bolt was ripped out. The whole thing was moving, so the whole head kind of like uh, okay. fell down. I wonder if the head came crashing down once upon a time and that did all the damage. Or, I don't know, something happened to the cabinet. Yeah. But it is uh, perfect now. <laughs> yep. Got the slide rails. Just use the old piece to uh, trace out a new piece kind of thing. Yep. Nice job, man. This, this is very extensive. I swear you're still undercharging. Got to double double your rates, man. Like, if you charge by the hour, nobody could afford your work. Even if it was like thirty bucks an hour, like you do the math on how many hours you put into these things. Good thing you do charge a flat rate. It's like flat rate plus um, whatever you want to add, kind of thing. You know, do you want to add art blades? Do you want to add powder coating? Do you want to add mods? No, that is not included in the base rate, but uh, yeah, it's not like you were even trying to start a business. This just kind of happened by accident. You were just doing my own thing. So. Yeah, yeah, just doing your own shit, and people are like, "Well, can you do your shit that you do to your shit to my shit, please?" And uh, yeah, hence the. And then you have the Grazy Garage full of projects. Yeah. Check out the heads here. And then uh, we'll have a look at the pile of powder-coated goodies. Like the uh, gloss finish on these guys. Yeah. 
Oh, here's the old. That's the old back. The hard body back, yeah. There, you can see the big crack in it right there. Oh, wow. This piece alone weighs like 20 pounds, man. Holy oh, crap. This cabinet almost weighs double this cabinet. Oh, really? It's just that MDF is thick and heavy. But here is the box of powder coated goodness that's going to go on the play field. Got some hard body stuff, some creature stuff. Oh, man. This is like, like Halloween and Christmas combined. So much fun stuff. Every little like ramp piece, like wire uh, gate uh, stuff. It's literally everything that was metal on the playfield. Everything metal that you could remove off the playfield made it to the powder coater. All these wire forms, ball guides. Oh, that's. Freaking cool. What the hell is that? So that's the ramp with the up down ramp back here. Oh, it's starting to get populated. Yeah. This. Somewhere around there. There it is. Oh, okay. See, it's out. something you don't even notice. Now that it's green, you can actually. Uh... But yeah, so. Holy crap. Let me. Uh... It's kind of the dirty side still, but. Okay, the right side's the dirty side, obviously. And all those, all that orange is gonna be gone. It's all going green. Now. It's all going green. But here you can see uh, the green cliffy posts have uh, started getting populated, and the wire forms, or whatever you call them, um, lane guides, lane guides, ball um, guides. Change everything to green. Yeah, that looks great. All this stuff, so. Look at that. That's beautiful. So this is what it looked like. Oh, yeah. Here's a sample of the V4. Okay. It's got some black rubber that used to be white. And some just crumbling posts. <laughs> Those used to be orange posts. They're now, like, black Sweet. with pieces missing. Here is the old. Uh-huh. And then let's uh, walk around here without knocking into anything and get a good look at the after here. So, new rubber, brand new green posts and LEDs. And there's the ball guide. Yeah, have a look at that. Every metal piece on the play field. The play field's cleaning up very nicely too. Mm -hmm. Going um, LED flashers, I see as well. Oh, oh, I thought I saw planking there for a second, but no, that's just the art. Well, that's good. Yeah, very very nice. That's really cleaning up. Yeah, still need some love, but yeah, there's still uh, a lot of work left. Here's the ramps. Plastics, parts from Marco, there's all the green posts, some rubbers, LEDs. Oh, bag of LEDs. <laughs> oh yeah? Is that from Davis still? Yeah. Right on. What's happening with Jurassic Park? Should we go take a look? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go. Yeah, how's Dutch's uh, Flintstones? Uh, it's pretty well done. Is it? Okay. Oh yeah, he was telling me about uh, the flasher um, situation yesterday. Uh, he had a couple connectors mixed or swapped or something like that. He swapped them after like tearing it down, and then then the op they worked opposite. So. Oh, okay. So there's something going on. So yeah, I don't know if you've seen this bucket before, but this is the amount of LEDs that uh, Kevin has gone through. It's five gallon bucket, and pretty darn near full. Of incandescent bulbs so yeah that is quite the collection so Jurassic Park is pretty much done yeah I got the T-Rex apart though right now oh do you okay well it's together but the bodies 
It's a skeleton right Yeah, I see. We got uh, an <laughs> archaeological dig here. We found a skeleton of a T-Rex. Actually, they just found a huge, like, 300-pound uh, skull in Alberta recently. But yeah, check this out. This is Jurassic Park. Pretty much complete, oh, except the oh, stupid oh, T-Rex. Yeah. And, uh, and the display. So, Daryl mentioned that he had um, the display ROM in the box and we only discovered that after we were messing around with it for like an hour so we thought oh it might just be a nice easy fix and you popped in the display rom and nothing eh so uh, that did not solve the problem unfortunately so we can turn it on mm, no yeah, it's plugged in. yeah okay let's turn it on just so we can see oh. the leds t-rex is going to go through his thing you got the Two new motors on here, like a left-right motor. And... Okay. He's supposed to chomp. Ooh. He's wow. It's a very pathetic T-Rex. Brand, brand new motors. So figure that out. Is it going to go into a track mode still? Okay. Cosmetically, this thing is amazing. I mean, we can, let's remove these. Remove these, get the full, full play field experience here. There you go. We're in a track mode. We got LEDs cycling. And uh, you can see like, oh, what happened to the uh, extra amber mod? I wonder yeah. if Daryl's gonna install that at some point, yeah, I bet. I don't have it, so oh, okay. It's like an amber uh, shooter rod mod from a stern Jurassic Park that might go in that place. And um, yeah, so everything's clean, rubbered, LED'd. Got a couple cool mods here, I haven't seen these before. It's like the uh, control room, the bunker, that's neat. And then they actually kind of light up. On the LEDs behind them. We've got powder coated goodness here, wire forms, yeah, custom yeah. apron cards, Close. all the metals blasted and painted, the beautiful black powder coating high gloss with the uh, gold metallic fleck in there. Kevin's getting called to action. Yeah, no problem. So I don't know if Daryl is going to come by and, uh, well, I guess he is. He's going to come and install the pin sound, the pin to DMD. He's going to bring a um, another display board from his Tales from the Crypt and pop that in here and see if that solves the problem. Here's the old motors. Here's T-Rex head. And the rest of the stuff you need to remove to deal with him. Um, but yeah, cosmetically, this thing is basically done. It's just uh, T-Rex and display, and then some little bonus stuff to, uh, to finish the job. So I don't know if we'll see this in its complete state or not. Depends on if Daryl comes over and installs that here and gets the display going. So this may or may not be the the last tour of the Jurassic Park. But uh, with this alternate art package, it's one of the coolest Jurassic Parks in existence, I must say. I don't know if Daryl has the original topper or not, but it's often that they are missing because it is so friggin' tall that it doesn't fit anywhere. I mean, the machine itself is tall, like taller than average. Have a look at this. I'll try and give you a perspective. This ain't going to really work too well, but eh, just trust me. It's taller than all the other like Williams and Stern games. Then you add another like 12 inches of topper 
and it don't fit in too many places. It's really too bad this display isn't working because it feels like it would be such an easy fix, but my board repair guy told me once that uh, these display boards are very sensitive to static electricity, so you know, you kind of touch it a little bit and that could blow a chip. So I feel like it's a blown chip. We'll see. I'll, I'll try and report back what it ended up being. But there it is, another Jurassic Park in the books. Hard body, number two, getting work done. And uh, well, Flintstones is kind of in a state of uh, being worked on right now. So we'll probably leave that at that for now. And we'll wait till Dutch is done with it. You can see Dutch has been hard at work here, tools everywhere. There's basically um, a couple flashers that aren't working. So other than that, the machine is uh, pretty much fully functional. And uh, looks like all the LEDs are probably done. Rubbers are probably all done. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta fold this thing down and take a quick peek. All right, here we go. Dutch got rid of his apron card that says, don't touch my machine or I'll F you up. Here it is. Tampering with my pinball machine may result in an ass whooping you'll never forget. That was the apron card. But here we go. Playfield looks nice and clean. It's all reassembled. All the molds are back in. Dino crane is in. I just noticed this. The art on the back panel there is like the body of the dino. And uh, there's the head. It all kind of like ties in. Kind of cute. I didn't notice that before. Uh, this one's not plugged in, so... We did play a game on this before. We could potentially uh, do a quick after game. I mean, it would be cooler if Dutch was here, but Dutch, I'm asking for forgiveness, not permission, to uh, play a quick game of Flintstones. All right, there we go. I got the lock bar on, the ball's in and a uh, quick little tour of the play field with the uh, track mode on and all the LEDs going. It's looking good. So once Kevin gets back in, there's our little bowling pins. So, okay, that's how that works. There's three targets behind the bowling pins. If you hit the middle target, you get a strike and you get the outside targets, you get a spare. I never really knew how that worked, but that makes sense. It's a pretty uh, packed play field though, like, you know, in terms of worlds under glass. This has got it all. So, uh, let's give it a whirl, eh? Go for a quick little game. I know you gotta leave in about uh, 15 minutes or so, so. Yeah, like 10. 10? Okay, well. Hey, don't make it a 14 minute game. <laughs> yeah. Turn it up a switch. Spell dig a bunch of times. Oh, really? Each time you spell dig, you get concrete letters. I know we talked about this before, but maybe you didn't see that video. We just gotta spell concrete. We can also do that by uh, hitting the drop targets. Dutch was out late playing uh, pinball last night at Fork River with me. Had to get up at like, what, 6.30 this morning? What's that? At 6, I think. 6? Uh... Did he tell you what place he came in? I am back on. Oh, no. Uh, I think he was uh, second. He got me the bugger. I took third. Eric from Windsor took first. I've been nailing that side rail. Oh boy. Of course. As soon as I say that. Son of a son of a. Okay, three more letters to go here. 
They basically have done nothing but side loops and, and uh, rollovers up top. I haven't hit a single ramp, I haven't hit drop targets, I haven't hit stand-up targets. But I'm just trying to get that multi-ball going. And also not be uh, forever. Come on, dig. Two more. I will cheat if I have to. Start mode. Whoa, 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 don't screw me. Hey, I spelled concrete. No, that ain't happening. I have to cheat. Side loop. That's where I gotta start the multi ball if I get a it on a flipper here. There we go, there we go. Am I playing this mode as well? Okay, up the middle for a jackpot. That's all I care about. Oh, nailed it on the fly. Now, side loop for super. Come on, here it is, here it is. Nope. I'm gonna bank it. Where's my other ball? Oh, here it is. Okay. Bank it. Oh, that's close. You can try and bank it off the target. Or just. Or just. That's how you do it. Okay. Kevin's gotta go to work. We gotta get out of here. There's your little uh, update for the day. We'll be back. Check out the action again in the future. All right, we'll see you later. Hey, it looks like you got a Taco Bell topper. All right, I hope you enjoyed the little Grizzly Garage update. And as promised, I am going to play for you now the Pinball Shenanigans theme song created by OG fellow shenanigander Greg Martin. So check out this action. It is pretty awesome.
She's Kevin's kid, who's a master on the silver ball. Winning weekly tournaments is typical. At the tournaments, he might be number two. But Mike Davis, he's coming for you. Pinball shenanigans, we can't resist. Best YouTube channel, you don't want to miss. Pinball 40s, Gracie Garage, fixing pins. No matter how you look at it, we all win. I know everybody's still missing Hank, and he's still MIA, but there's a new kid in town. It's Barry. Hi, Barry. This is the neighbor's cat, and um, he's making himself at home. Are you inspecting my Star Wars toys that I'm about to sell? Oh, yeah? yeah. Is that good or bad? Do you like or not like? Yeah, he just likes his little butt scratch here. Oh, yeah. A little butt scratch. All right, Barry. As cute as you are, it's probably time you go home. Parents are probably looking for you.